if we could drill down to the very last, like to the to Tatum's decision with five seconds left, though, because I think I do think this is where I want to get like I want to back up and get a little philosophical about this team, like the um, let's not even call it threes, let's call it jump shots versus like post ups driving to the rim kind of possessions. Um, if you look at like if you look at the um, at like tracking data and what the guys on this team are great at, what they're great at is spot ups. That's like the it, on spot on like spot up shooting possessions. They have like five guys who are in the top like 80 percentile or higher. And so um, I, th- I, I get why people are like concerned that the Celtics don't get to the rim enough or that like they need more variety in their possessions or that it's a little scary that they lead the league in three in like percentage of their shots that are threes by such a wide margin. At the same time, that's the team they've built. They've built this team that has like elite shooting and when they move the ball and those are those are like clean looks, th- those looks have all kinds of advantages. You don't turn the ball over on those looks. You get a lot of offensive rebounds on those looks. When they go in, they're worth three points instead of two. Like, um, I think I think in a lot of cases, like mo- like getting a couple passes, catching and shooting the ball is a lot easier than what Tatum's trying to do in these moments where it's like where he's um, where it's like thirty something seconds left in a quarter and he's trying to get a two for one and like or it's the last shot of a game and he's trying to manipulate the clock in a way that means he or J- or if Jalen's doing it has to be in control of the ball for that whole possession and I don't think. I just think we struggle to score when defenses are able to load up on the one guy. And so I like, I I don't know if it has to be threes, like for some team, like we have a lot of great cutters on this team and maybe there's opportunities for that to happen as well. But I like, I worry that in this focus on shoot, on like the idea that they might be shooting too many threes, they're actually going to get away from the stuff that just like, when when it when you say that you want a team to like take what the game gives you or like not fight the game or like let like whatever the defense is giving you that's what you have to take in many cases the Celtics do that by generating clean jump shot jump shooting looks FanDuel is the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network right now new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Yeah, I mean, again, go back to that play in Minnesota, spot up three to, to take a two point take a two point lead. Look yeah. at again the catch and shoot numbers on this team are outrageous. And yep. as you say, the personnel, look at the shooters. I mean, it, I don't know who the worst shooter on a catch and shoot three is on this team. Like on catch and shoot might be Jalen. Is it? Yeah. Is it like Jalen? Actually, it's it's Porzingis, but uh, but, he, but he but he's he's such a great like they're all great shooters. That's the yeah. point. Like that's what that's what they should be hunting. They should be looking to get to generate someone, you know, getting a a wide open catch and through shoot three point look. If they really want to, you know, lean into this again, that's gonna just gonna set the internet on fire because this team shoots too many threes already or whatever. But that's what this that's their strength so instead of instead of bogging the possession down and having all the attention focus on one guy maybe they can use that to their advantage to get someone else open or just maybe have Derek white start with the ball that's another you know just another thought um but like yeah we're, we're talking semantics at the end of the game against the best team in the league not named the boston celtics so sure. you're talking about really high 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 end and, and, and basketball and the execution has to be high that's all just one quick little stat about this. So I looked up, I got to read it off my notes here. Final minute of the fourth quarter or of overtime with the score within three. And this is just for games that both the Jays played in. Mm-hmm. There's, we have 21 possessions in that situation so far this year. We I keep saying we, it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Listen, so, you're an honorary member of the team. So in those 20, 21 possessions, Zero for six on two point field goal attempts, three for seven on three point attempts, which is 41%. However, 12 points off free throws. So, all the points, so nine points off threes, 12 points off free throws, but they haven't made any two pointers in that situation. I went back and looked up a couple previous situations. 
the, honestly, their percentage on threes and twos in these situations is are, it's basically the same percentage. It was like 37% on twos, 35% on threes. I think this idea that it's like automatically a more reliable play in today's NBA to go for a two in that situation is like a little bit bogus, actually. What you want is just a clean look at the, like just a clean look. However you can get a clean look, that's your best shot at making the basket in these situations where you need one hoop. And so like, yes, you might get fouled, but if you drive to the hoop, you might turn it over also. I, I just think, you know, I think quibbling with these decisions when they shoot a three. I, what I really want is for them to throw a few passes and not just put the gut ball in one guy's hands and have him trying to dribble. So anyway, that's that's where I'm at with the end of the game stuff. Move the ball. You know, I've been looking for the best deal on Celtics tickets. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports festivals, and more. You can use my code dreamers pro for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. that's twenty dollars off your first purchase with promo code dreamers pro make sure you check the link in the description to download the app